People have been drinking for centuries, obviously. Distilled spirits go back hundreds and hundreds of years, but the cocktail in its single serving form really starts to pop up uh, in the early 1800s. When it comes to ice in our cocktails, it, it's, uh, I mean, it's a thing of beauty. I think back to a time prior to the early 1800s where the frozen water trade really first started in the very early 1800s. If you didn't live in a place where there was a frozen lake or pond some time of the year, you didn't have ice. I think abstract ice is bringing the best ice in the world you know, to people and making it accessible. Part of the fun of working with the whole team at Abstract Ice was dialing in all of the different shapes and sizes and varieties of ice. As a bartender, it's really finding the right tool for the job. Ice is the unsung hero of almost every cocktail that we enjoy. When it comes to ice, it does so many things. Like, of course, ice is cold, so it brings down the temperature. It adds dilution, which opens up the drink, which gives us a little more access to the aromas, to the flavors. It also brings down the proof of the drinks, so you're not drinking something that's so strong that it's offensive. The act of shaking or stirring over ice adds texture, which is huge. As we talk about the history of ice and how ice was farmed from frozen lakes and ponds, it's called directional freezing. It's perfectly clear when you pull those blocks of ice out. And so all of the impurities are pushed out. And the type of freezing that we do with abstract does the exact same thing. So you get these very dense, perfectly clear, gorgeous ice cubes. As much as this is an artisanal and a craft product on one hand, it's also it's just bringing it back to what ice should be in its purest form. I think in life in general, it's about details and it's about experiences and it's about the special moments. It's like you've, you've put in the work for a great cocktail or a non-alcoholic or whatever it is that you're sipping on. Um, you know, I think it's uh, life's too short for crummy ice. <laughs>